okay society is actually stressing us off honestly it is stressing us everyone is expecting that the only way to happiness is marriage the only way to happiness is this like there's there's already a standard the only way to happiness is when you have achieved in your career the only way to happiness is when you have you know bear kids but is that really all it takes for you to be happy Thank you for always returning if you are new if you're seeing me for the first time welcome i make videos on lifestyle entertainment just trending issues health discussion fashion beauty if that sounds like something that really interests you then you are at the right spot yes i can see you yeah make sure that you click on the red subscribe button yeah you know that red button and make sure you click on the post notification bell so you can get alerts whenever i upload something new just join the family let's be crazy together let's have fun together let's learn together so on today's episode i am here with amina my sister who is an amazing amazing business owner yeah she sells abaya amisha couture you can check her on instagram and all so today we decided to come and sit down and talk about certain issues because we always do that on this channel talk about things that affect our life and how we can you know get that our, our life back in control like close to perfection let's be happy this channel is all about finding happiness by yourself so on today's episode we'll be talking about you know living an amazing healthy happy single life yeah yes because you yeah, are married and maybe i cannot really relate at on this but can i be, i was single like just a year back so i think i have some one or two things to chip in so she's representing the single ladies at the moment i'm representing the married woman yeah that's just married recently <laughs> 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 I mean, now let's let's just talk on life. How has single life been first? Uh, like, mm. how how is it going? Wow, Alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. mm. my single life. Because I'm going to talk for myself. Of course, my single life have been you know wonderful, amazing. Alhamdulillah, mm. and um, I get to do so many things I want to do. Mm. You know. Before. are you saying are you saying we are restricted i don't I, understand no. I, I am doing whatever i want to do so no, i get to do it. no i'm not actually <laughs> saying you're uh, rest, uh, restricted, restricted to some things but as a single lady you have you are open to doing more things you know you have time for yourself you have time to do whatsoever you want you want to do hmm. unlike the married women maybe you have you have some certain responsibility that you need hmm. to take care of hmm. you That's might true. not have the time to you know both incorporate yeah, everything together exactly hmm. so my single life has been wonderful alhamdulillah i get to do so many things i get to you know spend time with myself i get to love myself more you know before having the responsibility things uh, taking you know, care of taking someone care of the child <laughs> the, you know the husband and so on and so forth mm. as time goes on i get to realize that i need to start doing something for myself you know something that can improve my my life and then i get into business i start i, start, I started doing business because i love spending my money I was expecting her <laughs> to wear a buyer, you know, because she sells amazing buyers. <laughs> Don't worry, next time. <laughs> so I get to, you know, do so many things for myself. If I should try this and see it's not working for me, I can switch, switch it off. Switch to, yes, of course, um, that's like other part of. She mentioned she likes spending her money. Okay, yeah, exactly. I like spending my money too. Although you know, <laughs> when someone spend money for you, you get to enjoy it, mm -hmm. but then. I have this fulfillment, of course. this contentment mm. whenever I'm spending my money. Yes, please. Seriously. Preach, sister. Preach. <laughs> so, alhamdulillah, I, I work and then I have a business mm. and then I have siblings that I do go, go out with whenever this, I this want. These girls have been having so much fun without me. Can you imagine? I'm like, why don't you invite me? They'll be like, but you're sick. Oh, no, I thought, we thought that you, you wouldn't you know, want you know, to go out to you, touch your husband. You know, I'm like, yes, yes we're well done. At times, if we're going out, we just sit down at home, and then the 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 thought of going out will just pop in. Then you and let me know. Hello. Wait. 
it's just at the moment you want us to call you at that very moment and tell you that oh, of course going what does that mean <laughs> am i not at the moment kind of does girl? it work that way of course uh, hello <laughs> so um, okay so live live i would say for you live has been pretty okay alhamdulillah yeah you know it's not it's okay i'm not saying it's not okay mm. it's okay but then you know there are some time in life yeah that challenge is set to go yes oh. okay okay so what would be the challenges you would say that you you're facing currently as a single mm. lady i'm sorry to say single <laughs> i'm sorry to say our parents at times or oh, let me say the society you know they tend to take you the single lady like you're an unserious human being like look at her she's she's not worried that she's not married you know <laughs> and then that's people, a sore you know, topic yeah people tend to misjudge you you know mm. criticize you and then society throw things at you mm. you know it's all so, it's all it all comes back to society it's all comes back. i i remember this episode of what is this name of please in case you remember this program this program that there is tamara there is um adrian there is um what's this amazing asian lady the in london do, um, uh, how do I look? yeah how do i look i'm trying to yeah. remember her name jen jen jenny 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 <laughs> may jenny may it has to be jenny may please let it be and then there is um lani so um there, there, there was this episode that lani was crying she got so emotional and she was talking yeah. about um society hits you with okay you have to get a man at the age of 20, 20 something or 30, 30 something yeah. and and if not then you're old you're you're not wanted you're yes an old maiden everybody is yeah. judging you it's just it's all your fault and all that and she got so emotional that she was crying and honestly at that time the, at that time that i saw the video i was single and i could relate exactly i could relate but even at that time like how old are we b barely and in our society, especially, see, I think the Westerners tend to experience that too, but not, not as much. Yeah, in the Western world, it's you have to reach about say forty-five to fifty for people yeah, to start. She's yeah, never then, been married and all that. But in yeah, Africa, Africa, the moment you click eighteen, they've started counting you. Yes. And from twenty, twenty-one, you're like you're getting Most old. Especially when you get twenty-five, twenty-six, and, and you're, you're yes, single. and then somebody that is oh eighteen God. is getting married, and then also like it's 25 hello mm. like what is this you're not it's not up to every girl out there wants to get married and yes you know every what? girl no okay not every girl there are people that certainly they do not want marriage people, there are a few people tend to, um forget the fact that before you come to this world god has already written everything that is going to happen no you know talking about god you know that africans we talk about god in our mouth more <laughs> yes but we don't we act don't, on it yes, exactly. you will see when you're with somebody they'll be like eh, the people that will correct you quickly and use god's name when you're doing something they'll be like ah look at what you're doing as if you're not a muslim mm, yes. look at what you're doing as if you're yeah, not a christian, christian yeah. look at what you're doing as if you're not and funny enough, those people, when they start misbehaving, you'll be looking at them, excuse are me, you, are you a Muslim or are you a Christian? Why are you saying all this shit? So it's, people tend to just bring up religion in their mouth. They use it to correct but, people, but, but they don't, don't use it, it to yeah, into action, practice, into yeah. their belief. You marry someone and a woman is not able to put to bed, they will, nobody would just one nobody year, would record that, year, okay, it is God. Five, even if it's 10 years, years even if it's 10 years, years it doesn't years. matter you you live you start believing no it's the woman's fault forgetting that there is god the same god that you have claimed to know the same god that exactly. you are claiming you are the perfect exactly. person then when when a woman when a lady isn't married you start using it it's her fault forgetting yeah. that it is god's time whether she likes it or, or not. not if it's not the right time it's not gonna happen people exactly. if someone doesn't get a job or maybe she's been looking for a school or he has been find, trying to get admission into any institution and it's not possible they keep blaming look at you i don't mm, like yeah the pressure society gave us is just too much That's honestly true. and we tend to forget god in most of the things that we're supposed to apply god in yeah. And that's what is eating us up when it comes to situations that we cannot even control. Situation like marriage, you cannot control exactly. marriage. You cannot say this is the time that I want to get married, except when that time comes, and only God knows that time. So the whole pressure that society tends to give uh, women, it's you know, it's just too much. And the pressure, whether we like it or not, is like ninety percent to men. Exactly. Men get 10% pressure whether they get married or not, but women, women get 90% pressure. pressure. Yeah. 
you have to get married at so so time why if it's and not if, at so, so if you time, don't get married at that time it's now your fault yes you're you're not the the, the evil one mm, they'll tell you you're choosing yeah yeah you're waiting for am a i not rich supposed man. to choose yeah exactly i'm sorry excuse me you're waiting for a rich man okay no you, you you don't want him because he's not he's not tall or he's he's ugly sorry excuse he's not good looking you know and he doesn't have a nice job excuse me i'm getting married to this man he had to have, it's not you he he has to have uh, an income you know mm -hmm. he has That's to be true. even if he's not really financially stable, stable. He, but should at least be he should be financially have something, okay yeah he should have something doing you know the life we are into right now like let me just say this to the single ladies out there who are facing so many things in life i want you to tell yourself that you're the one in control of your life you shouldn't let anyone put you down you shouldn't let anyone tell you what's point wrong in your what, life yeah, and how to fix it yeah don't let anyone put you down just focus on yourself educate yourself love yourself more mm. you know get something doing get engaged go out with friends you know there are so many things you can do to improve yourself to like to engage yourself in that people will not even have the time to come into your life and tell you that because you're, you're even busy you don't even have time for them. that's true you know but when you're staying at home okay and you're educated yes yes you're educated but you don't have anything doing maybe you don't have a job yet try and start doing something go out you meet people engage yourself just try to build yourself exactly try to build yourself just concentrate on you i always try to put myself first because if i am good then i'll bring that better aspect of me to my relationship my marriage my family my yes, loved exactly. ones and all that my work but i i still have to consider my husband like in most of the things so when you're single <laughs> please oh this God, is the right the, time oh, yes right you time know, you don't to, have any issues you like you don't have any have fun. any um responsibility towards you you know mm -hmm. it's just you try and make yourself just have happy fun. you know Take pictures, there are so many go things around the world. that you can engage in just try to make yourself happy please and please we can't get it all yeah we can't get it yeah all, we can't get it all but then you can do your best hmm. you can do your best okay emotional lady because <laughs> i can see the emotion all on her face like, um seriously. one thing i would i would want to say is to remind us is not all that glitters is gold not all that exactly. you see marriage isn't all that okay if god said you know okay you're not meant for marriage then. and then you go and kill yourself now uh, uh, because of society and guess what the society will still blame you she killed, killed herself, herself just because she's because not of married uh, uh, the same society that yes <laughs> Please, we have please, a screwed please. up yourself should society. be the top priority please please you yourself please yes always put yourself first um there are lots of marriages that marriage is amazing yes but there are lots of marriages that nobody i i always say nobody comes to social media to tell you the and bad marriage, side yes, of yes is and there are people that are you know worst kind of marriage Single and you ever, yes and that person would be seeing you as a single person and be envious yes of your how life. i wish like um, how i wish i could actually exchange life with, with this, this person. person meanwhile you you're already seeing her she'll just come out with her husband and smile and you're like how oh, i wish i can be like this woman you know stop one thing. wishing but wish when for you're yourself. self sufficient hmm. and self-reliant you tend to have this opportunity to meet great people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you can easily end up with someone that you would be happy with that's true you know but then when you are uh, you're forcing it you just want to get married because it's time for you to get married and you're not get married you tend to fall in the wrong yes in the wrong hands wrong, wrong parts, you, yeah. you start you start pushing the guy you start stressing up like okay get married to me get married to me my my family yes, are pressuring yes. me and, my, fall, and really even if at, at the beginning the guy is like okay i got a red gem he'll start looking at you like Mm. Mm. is she actually worthy like look at her she's even pushing herself she's actually exactly. not desperate you start taking advantage of you because it is normal for human being to feel too comfortable with a particular thing and exactly. take it for granted exactly. so you start taking you for granted because exactly. you're the one pushing yourself on yeah, him or yeah, her yeah. or however they both them sweet and but you know, it's mainly it's mainly about we're not talking about only ladies being single we're talking about guys yes, as well yes, exactly. we know that a lot of men also are going through you know situations like this whether it's pressure uh maybe you have not gotten married even though it's more for the women but there are men also and we cannot ignore that yes. so what you do is concentrate on building yourself just be Generally, happy yes just be happy as an individual you mm -hmm. know 
do not make your life mission about marriage like it's all about <laughs> you when when most ladies actually concentrate on i want to have a husband i want to be, they tend to forget like i know a lot of people they tend to forget about building themselves yes the Which whole concentration important. is all about a guy you want to go where a guy will meet you. you want to go to events where a guy will meet you forgetting that in that event you might actually meet a business a partner or a, a, or a, a, somebody that will sponsor you or somebody that will you know invest in your business exactly. something like that you don't give room you, when you see a guy approaching you your only thought is it's about marriage let him marry me or let him date me Meanwhile, that person might not actually be in your life to just date you. Maybe he's just in your life to assist you financially or business-wise. You know, bring you, engage you into one amazing big business. Yes. But I know you look at the only thing you look at him is when you when you look at him you see stars. Mm. <laughs> Why would you be rich yourself? Please, <laughs> people tend to you know forget about that as a lady. Ladies tend to I want to get sorry sorry to say this. I want to get married to a rich man. Why won't you be rich yourself? You know, to a point that a lady will sit down and pray like God give me a rich husband. <laughs> and like you have an opportunity to sit down with God, the person that gives money, and you do not ask for God give me, me the money. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! How can it's like it's. But honestly, even even though we blame the, the ladies, we still blame it's still come back to society. Yes. Society has made it seem as though only a man is supposed to enjoy. Yes. Only a man is supposed to be rich. Yes. A woman can is not supposed to be richer than the man. A woman yes. cannot like the, they have already put limitation on everything yes. for a woman. And yes, that's not exactly. it. That's not it because Muslims will already know that one of the prophet's wife, the, his first wife actually was richer. No, he met her a rich woman. And he actually worked for her for a while before they got married. So it is so okay for a woman to be rich. So women, hustle, pray. Please, when you have opportunity to pray to God in the right mood, pray for yourself. You should come first. You That's should true. come first That's true. before any, any other person <laughs> else. We've already ranted. People think like a single life is hard. You know, as for the Muslim, Muslim um, society, mm. just go back, think about the time of the prophets Sallam. where ladies you know walk around the market barely dressed so okay. you know okay. they are more exposed to it to to teens you know than mm. than we of right this now. generation so we should be grateful that you know the, the generation has yeah improved. changed like we should be okay living single until when Allah said it's time. It's the time for you to get married. Please yes. don't, don't, don't. You cannot so decide when yourself. you get married. People get into depression. Exactly. And Please and yes, it's because so of society. So right now, what we're trying to do is to try to create awareness so that society will know to stop pressuring people on matters exactly. that cannot be changed. And if this society, even though we're trying to change it, it's not going to be one time. Yes. It's going to be something that it takes take time. time. Yeah, so before then, process. what happened to you? I'm talking to you now, the, the lady out there who is having this pressure of getting married from family, from society, from friends, friends intimidating you like I'm married. Trust me, ask that friend the main truth behind you, her marriage. Do, she will not tell do you. Know, do, you, do you even know at times at home, you, you'll be like, mm, I want to eat this. And maybe somebody in your house, your, one of your relatives will be like, mm, this is my husband's house. Go to your own husband's yeah. house. You know, it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, the society would always try even though we're trying to get to them and we hope that with all these videos that is being thrown out there yeah, like people yeah. would try to at least adjust but before then it's up to you only you can do it do not let anybody get to you they will try you do not let anybody anybody that talk to you about marriage or any pressure like that if you can answer them give them back you back, know, back, give them as if they hot, round it up in, in a fufu leather <laughs> and throw it back at them. If you cannot answer them and, and you just, just because they are elderly and all that, yes. just look at them and just ignore them. If they are talking, make sure you use like an automatic closing your ear issue. <laughs> because most of the things, whether I would like it or not, tend to get to you. And before you know, you start getting depressed. Yes. And exactly. these people, they'll, at the end of the day, they'll send people who will be like, but I did not tell you to get depressed. I was only just trying to tell mm. you the truth. So at the end of the day, it's still up to you. 
so make yourself happy do not let anybody tell you um bring you down or make you sad or make you depressed okay yeah. marriage will come at the right time um, inshallah inshallah yeah. and that's what i hope for every lady out there i hope that you would have fun you take care of yourself first you will just stick to allah and trust god that he will give you the right person at the right time, time. amen okay um well that's it we hope that you were entertained educated and it well informed on today's episode with Amina and I, Sumi. So we'll say thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye. Bye.